good morning friends in the previous class we have uh, in the previous video we have seen about uh, how to create a ms access database and also we have seen how to create a table and also we have seen uh, to insert the data in the table uh, in this video we are going to learn how to write a queries uh, for the existing table already uh, if you created a table now we are going to see how to write different queries uh, to get the data from the table so here in the screen you can see uh, here uh, i created employee database and in that i created a pmp table and also i have some data in the table so now this data we are going to take it as a, a sample data and uh, now we are going to write uh, different queries on this data so we will go to uh, to write the queries now so in order to write the queries uh, you have to go to create menu there you have different options for to create the to design the query uh, if you want to uh, design a query by using the widget by taking the help of the widget you have a option like query widget just click on that and uh, in that widget uh, window uh, the first is that you have to select the type of the query like uh, we select a simple query widget select that and click on ok and uh, in the next uh, uh, window it is going to display all the fields we have in that table so it is going first uh, we have uh, we have to select the table in the tables uh, drop down uh, box so here we have only one table so that we have to select and below that uh, it is going to display once you select the table in the tables uh, drop down box uh, in below that uh, it is going to display the list of fields in that table like here we selected employee table so in the employee table we have fields like uh, employee id name rename employee name salary city mobile number and country so here uh, uh, we have two buttons so one arrow button for uh, to select uh, specific fields okay so if you want to select all the fields to write the query uh, just to click on a button that contains two arrow uh, like two arrows just click on that so here once i click on that uh, i got all the fields that we have in the mp table okay now uh, just you go for finish just click on finish button okay so now by default uh, we have given a query name like mp query and later also we can rename that query that also we will see after a few minutes so now uh, we created a query here now we can write uh, different uh, conditions uh, to get the different types of data from the table okay so if you want to write the query uh, just right click on uh, the query that we created and click on design view so there it is going to display uh, the list of fields that we selected just now so uh, just i will uh, tell a uh, simple query first for example uh, i want to select the uh, uh, records based on the country for example i want to select all the records which are uh, having the country like india so i am going to write like this so here you can see uh, different uh, 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 like uh, labels like field table sort uh, show criteria like that okay so here i am going to write the criteria so criteria based on country so i need to write like uh, like this so you have to set, go for criteria row and uh, uh, select uh, country column so there you have to write india hello so here i uh, wrote india okay so now uh, just uh, you click on run button so here we can see all the rows which are having the country like india this is one type of query and we will see one more uh, kind of query and again you, uh, if you want to write one more query again you have to uh, go for design view and i want to clear the previous uh, criteria so now i want to select uh, uh, records based on name like i want to select uh, 
the records which are having uh, the uh, which which are employees which are having employee name starts with uh, s so i'm going to write like this s uh, s uh, that is we have to write like a uh, capital letter or small letter just click on uh, s to start means that i'm going to select uh, all the names which are starting with the letter s and click on run button so by that you can see all the uh, rows which are having which are uh, which are having the employee name uh, starts with s here and uh, we are going to see one more uh, type of query i can also sort the uh, uh, records based on the field so before before starting the i can also sort the records based on the fields so here uh, uh, i am going to start uh, by um, uh, here you, you have to go for sort row there you have to select uh, the type of sorting like ascending or descending so here i want to sort uh, all the records uh, by employee name in ascending order okay uh, and uh, click on run so there you can see all the rows which are sorted by employee name that is starts with a and uh, like it will go on uh, uh, displaying the names uh, up to j okay and uh, we will see one more uh, interesting query that is parameterized query i can also uh, uh, write uh, parameterized query so before going to write one uh, another type of query first you have to clear the previous one otherwise uh, the two conditions will be applied simultaneously so here i want to write a parameterized query so in order to write the parameterized query you have to use square packets so i want to uh, select the country square brackets like this here i want to uh, get the type of the country here you have to write like in, in square brackets you have to write like this but so by that it is going to uh, ask for the country name like this you can see so here i am going to give like india in the clicker okay so there uh, you can see uh, all the uh, records which are having the country name like india okay so like this we can also write the parameterized queries and uh, we can also rename uh, our queries so once you finish writing the query just you have to click on save so by that your query will be saved permanently and uh, you can also uh, rename the query so for example i want to rename this query uh, like so here you can see the error like uh, you want to close the if you want to rename uh, the query you have to close the first uh, query here so just close it save it and close it and now you can go for renaming so here i want to have like a query by uh, country like this like this you have to save and if you click on this uh, it is going to see you can directly double click on that query name you can get uh, uh, all the records with the country by country click on okay so this is like this we can write different types of queries by using query wizard uh, like this so this is guys uh, so in the next class in the next video we, we can see how to import uh, data from uh, excel so that we will see in the next video thank you